Yeah, so uh, what I wanted to demonstrate was um, the GUI apps running inside of uh, Chromebooks. Uh, for some um, background, we're running them entirely inside of a VM for security, which presented some challenges for these GUI apps. Uh, we knew we wanted to use Wayland because um, we have actually a Wayland compositor already running in Chrome, uh, and we thought we could use that to actually show uh, applications to users uh, by tunneling the protocol through a VM, through the VM, using a custom uh, Vertio protocol. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate that real quick. Uh, so Sublime Text works pretty well, and it is a actually an X11 app rather than a Wayland app, and what we do there uh, is we're actually running uh, X Wayland um, in sort of a special mode so that we actually still get uh, windowing working without having to run X Wayland inside of the compositor like uh, uh, most other configurations do. Um, so the nice thing is, of course, you know, you can edit, edit your text nicely there. Uh, the other fun thing you can do is run Firefox inside of your Chromebook. Uh, oh, looks like it mine crashed. So um, this worked pretty well. Uh, and you'll notice the, yeah, the scrolling is pretty smooth. Uh, one really important thing we wanted was that uh, performance be pretty good inside of these VMs, uh, even though there's currently only software rendering. Uh, and the way we achieved this uh, is by using the mini GBM from, uh, that was mentioned in the last talk, to allocate buffers host side and directly mapping them uh, through the KVM API into guest uh, memory. And so when the guests uh, allocate buffers, uh, they're actually allocating buffers that are already uh, part of GPU memory. So there's uh, zero or, or one copies depending on the kind of application. Um, one other, so I mentioned the software rendering, and that's definitely uh, kind of a weak point right now. Let's see if, let's see if I can get this demo working. Um, so the cool thing is, is that we do have 3D rendering. It's just not accelerated. So it's, of course, all uh, LLVM pipe based. Sorry, my, I, had, I had it all logged in, but then when I plugged in the projector, all of the GUI applications uh, went away. So obviously not great. Let's see if we can get Half-Life going. Uh, easy. <laughs> Let's see, so uh, obviously the performance isn't half bad for the title screen. <laughs> okay, is that visible up there? Um, see if I can. Oh God, yeah. So, so it kind of works. Um, obviously, a long way to go. Uh, we get, we get we squeeze a lot of performance out of software only rendering. Uh, I think like. Uh, the scrolling here, you know, standard 2D style applications work pretty well with this uh, uh, directly mapped video memory uh, that to, to reduce the number of copies. Uh, but we're looking uh, kind of towards the future to, you know, improve that so that you actually do get real hardware acceleration. Uh, we're kind of exploring a few pr approaches, but I think the most viable one we have right now is uh, utilizing Virgil Render. Um, I know some people here uh, work on that, so. We've been trying to use that. Um, one particular challenge, though, with Virgil Render, unlike the how QEMU use it, is we want to make sure we can we keep that Wayland support. Um, Virgil GPU is designed to just have like one big display, uh, you know, your your OS in a window. Uh, whereas we want to be able to allow you, uh, clients to use Virgil GPU buffers and for rendering, and then send them over uh, Virgil or sorry over Wayland protocol the standard way that they would. And that's kind of a real challenge because it wasn't ever really designed for this. Um, but yeah, that's uh, end of the demo right there. Thank you.